Hi guys and welcome back to Lasting Peace. Do you remember last week we talked a little bit about fear and how fear is, is an idol or can be idolatry or at least an indication of idolatry in our lives. Um, for some reason God has continued that theme in my um, recent Bible study and quiet time and devotionals with Him and in fact I was looking back in some of my previous writings and came across an article that I'll be sharing with you later this week that apparently indicates I was thinking about this quite a while back. So maybe God's trying to get something through my thick head. Um, and maybe, maybe I hope, He's wanting me to share this with you for the same reason, that this is um, something significant in your life right now, or a question that you're having in your life, or maybe um, something you're beginning to identify in your own life as fear or idolatry. Um, this is a really familiar verse. I'm sure that most of us have heard it before. Um, it's in Matthew 6, 25, and it says, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? That part's real familiar, but if you notice, the first word of that verse is therefore. And I have a pastor that always says, if there's a therefore, go back and see what it was there for. So if you look at the verse just prior to that, God says, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. Therefore, I, do tell, you, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life. Um, money there could be a substitute for any number of things. You can't serve God and something else. So obviously that something else, being a competing God in your life or an idol, you cannot serve an idol, you cannot serve anything outside of God, therefore don't be anxious about your life. To me that indicates that if I have anxiety in my life, then that is directly related to an alternative God that I've constructed. Um, if I'm extremely anxious about my beauty and my body image, then that should indicate to me that maybe I have elevated that, myself, my body, to a, uh, a level that competes in my heart for a place that only God deserves. If I am anxious about money and, and fretful about having enough, then maybe I should look at that as an indication that I have given money and things an idolatrous place in my life. Just something to think about. I'm curious, what, where do you find anxiety in your life? What are you afraid of? And if you look back, if you look what it's there for, what, what might be competing with God for the one and only pl the place in your life that only He deserves? Thanks so much. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.